Hi, my name is Wes Unag. I'm with Microsoft Corporation, and I'm a platform evangelist here on the West Coast. And I'm here today with Chaz Cooper from Xignite and Shoshana Bujanovsky um, for Microsoft. Um, so Shoshana, could you give us a brief background about um, what you do at Microsoft? Sure, thanks. Uh, I am a partner group program manager in the SQL Azure organization. And I work with, very closely with the Indo Windows Azure Marketplace data market team, formerly known as the Dallas team. Not located in Dallas, but actually located up in Redmond. Oh, great. And Chance, could you kind of give us a brief background about yourself and Xignite and what you guys do? Sure, I'm a director of product marketing for Xignite. And uh, what we do is on-demand financial market data, so essentially delivering stock quotes, currencies data, other kinds of financial market data uh, over the cloud as a service. Oh, great. And could you tell us kind of um, common scenarios where um, developers and, and end customers would, would use your data? Sure, uh, we have uh, really all sorts of different customers. Over 900 customers, some of them are SaaS companies, so uh, they're using our data to, uh, to actually uh, power their SaaS applications with financial market data, uh, as well as some web publishers who are using our data to uh, do things as simple as provide stock quotes. Uh, over the internet to their users. So Forbes.com would be a good example of one of our customers. Uh, and then of course, uh, major financial services firms who uh, are building uh, applications that also need uh, financial market data, whether it's for uh, analysis of the data historically or algorithmic trading uh, to uh, back test their algorithms uh, or any of a variety of other scenarios. And how, how, you know, because I know you've both catered both to the developers as well as the enterprise audience. I mean, how would a, an op, you know, knowledge worker actually access your data? Well, this is actually the interesting thing about our partnership with, uh, with Microsoft, uh, because traditionally our customer base is developers, almost exclusively developers. Uh, whereas data market, what data market allows is for us to not only provide those developers with additional features through the integration of data market with SQL Server and so forth, but also to provide those end users with a way of quickly and easily getting access to data. So traditionally that's a market that we don't even serve uh, directly. Whereas with data market, someone can go straight into Excel, click Power Pivot, a couple buttons later and they've got live market data in Excel. And so, you know, I have to say the the reason that this relationship is so important between our companies is really because we serve two very different markets and yet the data is critical to both of them. So the kinds of customers who are going to come to Exignite know that financial data is important. The kinds of customers who initially come to data market are people who are curious about information that's available, may not, but may not be very sophisticated users. And through data market, what we do is give them initially an introduction to the data through our integration with Excel, Power Pivot, and with some of the tools hosted inside of data market. And then they then have the ability to explore the data and begin using it in their applications in interesting ways. And so we're both. Um, servicing different parts of the market in very different ways, and that's why this partnership was really great for both of us. Oh, that's really exciting. I mean, what you know, where do you think um, what additional data sets do you think you'll be providing in the in the future for for uh, developers as well as end customers? Well, we're pretty much planning on putting every kind of uh, market data we have out there on data market. Uh, we're we've started with uh, forex currencies data and with uh, live. Uh, equities, pricing data, which would be stock quotes, because those are some of our most popular uh, data sets. Uh, and, but we're going to continue to work through all of our uh, various asset classes, including historical data, as well as uh, real time and delayed, uh, until uh, the, you know, pretty much the market you know, says that we've got everything out there that they want. So. Oh, that's cool. Good. So you know, what's interesting for us is, um, we started with the popular data sets, and actually, I spent a lot of time playing with Exignite currencies. And uh, you know, the currency data is pretty important for people and for companies who want to do just quick, you know, real-time conversion rates. And so, you know, the first application I personally built on it was just a little currency converter for my own personal use, so I could figure out when it was time for me to do some conversion before my trip to Europe. And so. 
you know, I look at that as a very lightweight mobile application that touches users that wouldn't necessarily have gotten access to the currency's data. And likewise, the BATS, la um, BATS uh, last sale data is exactly that same thing, which is I just want quick, easy access to information that I can use to make personal decisions. Now, we expect that over time, uh, more and more people, after they get out of the playing mode like I'm in, are going to start integrating that data directly into applications that help them run their businesses or help other businesses run their, their businesses, like ISV applications. And we're already starting to see that trend already, where we're seeing Exignite data being pulled into some pretty important ISV critical applications. So Jazz, um, could you tell us, tell us a little bit about why you're, you were interested in working with Microsoft? Sure, I think, uh, well first of all, I think Microsoft uh, brings a, um, a very, uh, I'm, actually I'm struggling with how to phrase this. <laughs> <laughs> it brings a very horizontal market. We're, we're very focused on financial services, uh, where I think that uh, what data market provides is a lot of coverage that's more across any given industry, uh, as well as across end users, uh, in addition to developers. So it's a very broad net that, that Microsoft can cast, where we as, as a fairly small company, uh, we can only get so much reach. And so we have a very strong presence in financial services. We have a pretty strong presence in SaaS companies and with web publishers. But I think just getting our name out there to every, everyone who uh, may want to build financial market data into their applications or even just use it directly uh, is always a challenge for us as a, as a, a, a small company. Where uh, I think um, you know, Microsoft, if anyone can make a broad net strategy work for selling data through APIs, it's Microsoft. And so we definitely uh, were very interested in pursuing a partnership with them early on when we heard about Dallas for the first time. So what was interesting about Exignite was it's a company that just got it. And when we started looking for how could we get premium financial data services available on data market, uh, we looked around the market fairly broadly at all of the content providers. And uh, as everyone knows, uh, we at Microsoft are going through the same contract complexity and terms of use complexity that everyone else in the industry is. And we looked at two things that attracted us to Exignite. Number one, reasonable, rational terms of uses over most of the data sets. <laughs> and that was pretty important for us. The second thing that really attracted us to Exignite is Exignite gets data and they get data services and web services. And they had already created a REST-based style interface for getting access to the data. And we said, hey, well, that's exactly what we're trying to achieve in data market. Now, we actually support a different protocol for programming against that data called OData and for accessing it, accessing it from our BI tools. But turns out that was a really great synergy and value add. So if people wanted to go directly to Exignite, they're going to get faster data services, they're going to use WSDL directly. If they come through data market, they were going to get the OData interface and they'll have the ability to mash up that data and do other kinds of BI information worker kinds of scenarios. And so, you know, we looked at this as a very successful company who had already proven that you could use web services to get access to financial data and that was truly unique. And that's why we thought this partnership was just so critical. You know, as, as we close out here, if you were a developer, were, you know, and wanted more information, where would you where would you send them to? Uh, I would say uh, first stop would be datamarket.azure.com, where they can uh, take a look at, uh, of course, all of Data Market's offerings. And if they wanted to find Exignite in particular, uh, just type Exignite into the search bar there, and you'll get uh, all of the web services that we have. Uh, Today we have two, there will be more and more as, as we go along, so depending on when people are watching this video, right. <laughs> we see any number of services there. Um, and uh, I guess uh, the other address is you're always welcome to, to check out Exignite at uh, www.exignite.com as well. So between those two, uh, pretty much all the information should be there, including full documentation and uh, the ability to actually use the services directly and uh, pretty much anything a developer would need to get started. Well, great. Absolutely. Great. Well, very thank good. you very much for your time, both of you. Thank um, you. And we look forward to seeing you next time.
Great. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.